What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to Stranger Things Season 4, Episode Number 6. In the last episode, Eleven was taken to the lab by Dr. Owens. Uh, unfortunately, he failed to tell her that, hey, Papa's back. Dr. Brenner, that piece of shit, pops up like, oh, hey, uh, remember me? I love you, I miss you. <laughs> and expected everything to be okay. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Um, but they took her and they put her in one of those, um, what are they, the sensory deprivation takes or whatever? Yeah, something like that. And they shaved her head, which pisses me off. And she was in the weird, like, not upside down, but like she was, uh, like dreaming or something, right? Yeah, it looked like she was just in, like in her memories. Yeah. And it was like a loop. She'd walk in, see kids, and then this guy would just pop out and say the fun's about to begin and all that. And she'd change rooms, just repeat. And it's pretty annoying. Until she kind of finally like decided to go along with it. And that's when Brenda showed up, tried to get her to like uh, focus and use her powers in the, the dream or whatever, those sequences. The kids were a bunch of assholes. And then she went down the rabbit hole of remembering that all the kids were dead at some point they still haven't really explained if 11 did it it looks that way <laughs> uh but one of those kids deserved it at least so she didn't do anything that bad in my opinion uh by the end she tried to make an escape for it right and when they were trying to like grab her again she got so mad that like she caused an explosion. Uh, but then after that, Dr. Brenner came in and tried to console her, and then she ended up calling him Papa. And then they held hands and walked away. That was very disappointing. It feels like they brainwashed her. I don't know about that. It's like her powers are coming back, but they're not back yet. So it's possible that she's just sort of accepted that this is how it has to be if she wants to be able to help her friends. I'm talking about the Papa stuff. I know, I understand, but, like, that's how their relationship was. Yeah. Like, we don't know. We can't We can't see exactly what's going on inside. Well, I mean, I guess we have been seeing what's going on inside her head, but, like, yeah. we don't know exactly what she's thinking. I mean, I guess, it but him. it was just the last episode. You were talking about how you didn't like the relationship. No, I, I, don't. I, th I don't. I think I don't. I think it's fucking weird. All right, so that's all I'm saying. The group with Max and, you know, Everyone else, Steve and uh, Dustin, Lucas, and Robin. It's like everybody except for the rest of the group in California. They, after realizing that music plays a big part in trying to keep Vecna away or your brain from going in that state, Max is listening to Kate Bush's music on loop, and she has to carry around a fucking cassette player and just listen to it nonstop. Uh, but they all decide to go visit Victor Creel's house. And they were just exploring. Got to a point where the lights were going off, just like in season one when uh, Joyce was in the Upside Down and Steve, Jonathan, and Nancy were in the house. The lights were going off. Same thing happened, and they all gravitated in the attic where Vecna was like those tentacles. It's like his lair, right? He was just chilling, doing his thing, killing people. You know, the norm. Murray fought Yuri on the plane. That was pretty cool. He pulled out some of his karate moves. I was kind of nervous at first when he was describing how good at karate he was, talking about how his competitors are no younger than 13. And, you know, he, oh, you know what? I did beat up this one guy. He, you know, he was 16, but his credentials were there. So, you know what? I could do this. Like, <laughs> it was ridiculous. I thought for sure it was going to be a, like a joke and he was going to get his ass beat. After yeah, well, that. he actually won. So good on them. Unfortunately, Yuri was controlling the plane, so they had to go and try to figure it out. The plane crashed. I'm assuming they're both alive, hoping Yuri's dead. That's just me. Sorry if there are any fans out there of Yuri. Uh, unfortunately for Hopper and Enzo, both of them are now prisoners. Enzo tried bribing another fucking... <laughs> he tried bribing another uh, officer, and obviously he didn't go for it. But Hopper had, like 
laid out all of the shit that he's been thinking, calling himself a curse, saying people are better off without him, blah, blah, blah. All bullshit. He's feeling sorry for himself, which, I mean, obviously in that situation, why wouldn't you? But come on, you're gonna, you're gonna die just sitting there anyway, so you might as well try. Put up a fight. But it looked as though they were put in an area where I think they take prisoners and feed them to Demogorgons. So I don't know if this is like a ticking clock situation now, or maybe we're reading it wrong. They didn't really specify, but the noise of the Demogorgon was uh, heard. So not a good sign. Jonathan, Mike, Will, and Argyle, they were given the pen by the officer as he was dying. And the number for Nina, I believe, was inside the pen. Why, why are you smirking? I'm just thinking about when, uh... Because the guy died in the van, and yeah. like, they pulled over to bury this dead body. I remember Argyle was like making him a tombstone yeah. or whatever. <laughs> like, like we just buried this body so no one can find it, and then you're you want to write him a tombstone, yeah. and then sign all their names. <laughs> so they try to call the number, and it sounded like what was on the other line was like either a fax machine or some sort of computer so it wasn't a phone number it was some like system and so they figured okay well who do we know that's good with computers we need someone to hack into this so that way we could send a message to dr owens and let them know that they're on their way the government and or the military so they pulled out a map they pointed at utah they know someone in utah who's a hacker that could help them out and who lives in utah susie dustin's girlfriend so they're gonna go try to pay her a visit. Uh, I wonder how that's gonna go. It's gonna be cool to see her. We, I think we saw her in the pilot, not the pilot, the, the first, first episode. episode of the season. Yeah, and haven't seen her since. But getting to see her will be pretty fun. On to the best part now. Chrissy's boyfriend, who I just don't know his name, uh, found Eddie at Reefer Rick's place, and he chased him into the lake. Dude went on the boat, tried to get the fuck away from them. Can't blame him. And. She, he decided to jump in the lake with his friend who's also being stalked by Vecna and they go and try to, I guess, take him out on the boat. His friend started hearing the clock stuff and Vecna got him and pulled him underwater, busted out, and then, you know, was torn to pieces basically, a fucking torn apart like a rag doll and killed. So, and it happened right in front of him and Eddie. So I, I don't know how he's going to try to spin it as to, because remember they believe the whole Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, he yeah. used witchcraft. He, he, yeah. He might, I was going to say, he might think that Eddie's the one doing it. Yeah. He's the devil, even though he's clearly just a goof. Um, but yeah, so a lot happened. A lot more is going to happen. And I feel like these episodes just get longer and longer, like little mini movies should be fun. Uh, if you guys are interested in our full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description. So, without further ado, let's just jump right in. Season 4, Episode 6. Are they at the lake? Where is it? Hopefully Eddie's gone. What'd you see, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's holding on to him. Tell them what happened. Eddie. Where was Eddie when you saw this? He's going to be forced to tell the truth. You're not listening to me. Starting to see why Eddie ran, huh? Eddie is a vessel. Just a vessel. A vessel? For Satan. Oh, fuck off, you son of a bitch. There's more evidence pointing to him than Eddie. Your friend, your girlfriend are both dead. How do you expect to stop the devil if you don't believe he's real? Holy shit. Oh yeah, I don't like the sound of that. What the fuck is this? Someone being tortured, obviously. In Russia? Oh, wait, no, it's... That's fucked up, man. There are two proposed explanations for what is happening. Explanation one, 
An invisible boogeyman from another dimension is slaughtering these kids. Kind of hit it on the nail there, buddy. <laughs> you were spot on with number one, dude. <laughs> Which explanation sounds plausible to you? Hmm? First one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. When you were attacked last year, I believed that your signals were scrambled in much the same way. But just as a stroke victim can learn to walk again, I believe you too can return to your full power. In doing so, I believe we can repair your broken signals. What's hit? What's like his end game here? Well, like when mm. she gets her powers back, gain her love. I don't know. <laughs> there is blood. So much blood. It's called murder. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we must proceed carefully. I still don't buy it. I don't think she's the one that killed all those kids. Eddie, what are you doing? Stealing a radio, it looks like. Needs to get back in contact with the gang. Well, they better fucking answer this time. Darker, a much scarier dimension that we told you about, and the gate's closed, so we have no way of getting to him. Like, he's entirely shut off to us, so basically you're... Do you want to get to him? <laughs> Why don't you ask Max her opinion? Hey, Max, you want to go visit him again? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, take off the fucking headphones. Reporting a homicide out here on the lake. Officer Callahan here, and myself. We, we got a serial killer on the loose here. Did... Just shut the fuck up. Eddie Munson. Oh, great. Ay, ay, ay. Dude can't catch a fucking break. This is not good. This is really not good. There's more evidence that ties to Chrissy's boyfriend than Eddie. Not really. Because he has an alibi for Chrissy's death. You can feel my butt. You guys feel your butt? I can feel my butt. Everyone needs to be on their best behavior. Okay? Okay, why? Argyle. <laughs> Ow! What in the hell is going on? Darling, you elf skin, you dry meat What the hell is happening here? <laughs> Can you the fuck? Not see that we are filming? What is with the weird pencil mustache? <laughs> He's trying to be a director, I guess. She's not gonna ask questions. Did he just fall in love? What the fuck was that? I, I guess so. <laughs> you are Eden. Like the garden. Wow. Hey. Where <laughs> to get that selfish little four-eyed shit? A nice little chef for me. Ab ab absolutely. <laughs> For you, I will. I will do anything for you. My the God, fuck, dude, dude. <laughs> chill out. Did they just barge into her room. We really need your help. Yeah, I feel like that was kind of weird. You're in her room. She has no idea yeah, who this, you are. This whole situation is fucking weird. <laughs> Prison, really? Right. <laughs> I mean, it's with worth a friend? shot. What do you think? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he deserves that. Fuck him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you thought I was serious. He thought <laughs> I was serious. I got you. I got you good. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we fly out of here, little bird? Ah, da, da. <laughs> Four, if you hope to save your friend. That is if he's not already dead. You still trust him? Would you trust him? No, fuck no. This is it, American. I hope you're ready. What? The Demogorgon? Are they gonna re- Period. <laughs> Oh, oh <laughs> <no>. <laughs> they're just being moved. Or 
Like a last meal or something? <laughs> you know what? That's probably what it is. What the hell? Hey. Is that true? <laughs> what did he do? I don't know. He did like, something, like, though. He, yeah, he definitely didn't actually, like, pass out or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Hopper might be their best chance here. And all your theories about it. Oh. They're all wrong. And this food... This food isn't to make us strong. It's to, uh... Make us plump. That sounds about right. Uh, Y'all was just celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Which number are you aiming for? None of your business. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate that guy. Sometimes it's helpful to take a step away for a moment. Why does he look like a creepy, like, ice cream man? <laughs> He kind of does. Like, weirdly specific, but it fits. Yeah. Do you maybe have a memory like that? Do you remember the day a strange woman came to see you? Wait, what? Oh, her, her mom? mom? This place. And the people here. Are not what you think. Wait, so when she's in there, is she, she, like, thinking she's literally back in time? Yeah. After you? Okay, so that was useful information from a guy I absolutely do not trust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't popular until I made it popular, all right? I practically invented it, heading in the wrong direction. Steve. Where are you going? Stop whining. Let's Steve. go. Come on. Trust me. Okay. I'd listen to Steve here if they're going to that specific spot. Thinking about Patrick, you know? Yeah. I mean... To be fair, no matter what, one of your friends was going to die. Because if he didn't die, he was going to help kill Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> so it was easy to just look the other way, I guess. But I did know you. You do? She's not dead? <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to be here for the break, and then he backed out at the last minute for some vague, mumbly Jonathan reason, and... He's getting high a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fun. If it's because we're 2,000 miles away, or if he met someone new, or what... I mean, he did, but I wouldn't say Argyle's competition or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so... Does that make us friends? As in, officially? Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, right. You guys have been hanging out in the same group for a little while now. Jesus, we thought you were a goner. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. You're a suspect now, man. Uh, get running. <laughs> <laughs> we're already doing that! It's been days. Days! Did you tell me why he's not behind bars right now? Are you guys, like, stupid? <laughs> They don't have him in custody. Until then, just do that. I can't bear to listen to any more excuses and lies. That's enough. I agree. I've had enough. In fact, I think we've all had enough. Bro, you're 17. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the police don't want to believe. And things that I don't want to believe myself. But I know what I saw. I know. Sound crazy, man. Yeah, but you're also targeting the wrong person, though. Yeah. They call themselves Hellfire. That's bullshit! The Hellfire isn't a cult, it's a club for nerds. Yeah. Thank you. A club. A club. A harmless club. That's what they want you to think. But it's a lie. A lie designed to conceal the truth. Ted's gonna buy into that shit because he's an idiot. Then I remember Romans 12, 21. Oh, God. Do not be overcome by evil. And you are being overcome by evil. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's cast out 
this evil and save Hawkins together. Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to work, isn't it? You coming with me or not? What are y'all just sitting yeah. around for? You heard the kid? Let's go kill some nerds! Yeah, basically. Okay, that is a lot. Their kids are involved with this, that's why they're. Mm hmm. A video game. Well, no, it's not just a video game, it's a video game console. Oh my god. You guys need to be honest with her if you want her to help. Why have I never heard of it? Because it's top secret. That's why we're doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dustin has already told her a lot of shit. You might as But it's not for us. It's for Dustin. Right. Exactly. It's for oh. Dustin. It's for Dustin's birthday. Act. You guys are Pieces so stupid. Of shit. <laughs> Father could see my soul was tortured and he wrenched a confession out of me. Not only was I breaking the law, I was dating an agnostic. An agnostic. Ay, ay, ay. Escaped my computer. And Father is not one to change his mind. I'm as likely to see it again as I am. The most annoying part, though, is that it sounds like the dad was more upset about Dustin being agnostic, being agnostic than yeah. her breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> and I need a lot of help. All right. I'm guessing Argyle's going to try to get close to Eden during this because the help is going to be her siblings. Just think about it. Do you really think your nerdy ass sons are like serial murderers? Whether they are or they aren't, they are now in danger. Yeah. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Molly. We don't think they're actually involved with this any guy, do we? I think at this point anything's possible. You're stupid then. Ten. Don't put words in my mouth. She does that. No, fuck off, dude, because you're alluding to the fact that they might be guilty. Skull Rock was north seriously you're serious mm -hmm. <laughs> hey you're totally absolutely 100 percent wrong right now yes and no oh my god this compass worked correctly when we left the wheelers it oh there's something going some surge is fucking with it right yeah like how l so either there's some super big magnet around here or there's a gate but we're nowhere near the lab but what if Somehow, there's another gate. Where would it be? Good question, but uh, better question. Who is going to volunteer to go and actually fight Vecna? Yeah, you don't have 11. So Mordor it is. None of them have any clue that he's now wanted, huh? Or like a suspect? Well, they, they know he's a suspect. They saw the interview happening in real time. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. They don't know about what happened at that town meeting, though. I thought this was like a simple exercise. What the fuck? You What's going to happen to him? You lose <laughs> your rainbow room privileges. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Oh, this is just one at a time? I saved 11 for last. This should be easy, right? Because she has no powers. So no struggle. I get annoyed every time I see that guy. Do you maybe have a memory like that? Damn. Holy shit. That's what he gets, though. He's being a piece of shit. That's the same guy, right? That was, like, teasing her? I don't remember. It looks like we have a new winner. Yeah, but she, like, got emotional like you told her not to, so... <laughs> and... Well, at least he's still tied up. I mean, I kind of. Just his hands. Well, his hands. That's better than nothing. I guess. Like, he has to walk. That's not the better they carry him. <laughs> yeah, but I would have left, like, some rope around his chest and stuff, like, getting his arms. 
You heard her. Keys. Map. Let's go. Are they actually gonna raid the fucking prison? <laughs> For this to work, Yuri cannot be tied. Hey, it's hard to turn over prisoners when I'm a prisoner myself. Hey. I, I think the warden might find that suspicious. Which is why from here on out, you're gonna be Murray. And I'm gonna be Yuri. Ah. <laughs> 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 That's good. I have a son, Mikhail. I cannot leave this world with him believing his father is a traitor. I need to get back to him, and I will get back to him. Is he slow? What? <laughs> Mikhail, your son is. <laughs> I today, your son is not your son. Yaska's all mouth shut. And your wife. <laughs> Careful, Hopper. Your fucking ankle's fucked up. Oh, yeah, so it was a plan. Hates fire. So I figure if we want a shot at killing this thing, we need some fuel and we need something to light it with. Ah. All right. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My ribs are broken. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So he was just calling his son slow. Mm -hmm. He had no idea why. That's funny. Where to go, Cornelius? <laughs> Away, you woozy rogue! Away! Told you they're gonna use the whole family. Mm -hmm. What is all this? Tanner, take him out of the. I think she's figuring out that's not a fucking video mm -hmm. game console. Hi, father. You look like you need a nap. Not gonna ask out. who those kids were. Yeah, she just came out of the room with like three three dudes. I think we just spooked a skunk. <laughs> They're hot box. <laughs> uh -huh. My dude, any luck? <laughs> you see that chief openly mocking us? Stay calm. Stay calm. A bunch of angry armed vigilantes. You guys are a mess without Hopper. Mm-hmm. Dustin, you slow down. Dustin, I think we're getting close. What's your step, big guy? Is it in the water? Mm, I think so. Is that why they did that shot earlier in the episode? Damn. Hey, hey, hey. You trying to sink us? This thing? <laughs> 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 this is so upset. Oh, it's him. Oh, wow. You shame me today. You are weak and pathetic. Well, so are your friends. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Just go ahead and murder them. They deserve it. Tell Papa we did this. Okay. We will kill you. Oh. <laughs> it was a threat. <laughs> that he was saying, <laughs> tell him. Like, All right, I will. <laughs> Little dizzy there. Poor baby. Let's <gasps> go. Oh, man. Like, get one of those blocks and beat them in the face. Shit, so that's what actually happened to her. So since she's basically reliving this, I'm guessing the assumption is the first time she really gained her powers, it just got out of control. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, she can't do any power. She's being bullied. And then... Well, I mean, she already has her powers at that point. It could just be that she snapped because of the bullying. Maybe. Not that she lost control. Well, does she have her powers? I know, like, there's, like, little, like, at times, but... Your, your compass has gone from wonky to wonky with a capital... Ah. Just 
You looking at Nance? <laughs> when Steve gets so hairy, right? What? I keep telling him he needs to tame that jungle, but he claims the lady dig it. Be careful. I would not swim down there. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. So you gonna get pulled in to the upside down? Where are we at, Wheeler? Closing in on a minute. Okay. <sighs> Uh, oh, son fuck. of a bitch. Okay, Steve. You found it. Go. Yeah, you're really pushing it. Not only are you pushing your breath, but you're pushing... Oh, no. He's going to get sucked in. He's going to pop out. It's going to be jump scare because he has no flashlight. Yep. <laughs> wow. It's more of a snack size gate than the mama gate, but still, it's pretty damn big. Oh, oh shit. Oh, come on. No, please don't kill Steve. How would you know where it's at? Hey there. Well, shit. <laughs> You're not going in there, are you? He might be safer there, if we're being real. Yeah, think, I guess. I mean, yes, Vecna is like this powerful supernatural creature, but he also has an angry mob not willing to listen to reason coming after him. Yeah. Plus, I don't think Vecna's going after Eddie. Oh, God no. damn. Oh. oh, come on. Stupid the bat. Fuck. Uh, close your legs. <laughs> oh, please. Come on, don't kill Steve. This is fucked. I don't like this. I think they'll get there on time. Oh god, my god. Fucking damn it. Fuck you, show. All right. That was season four, episode number six of Stranger Things. So Steve is now in the upside down, it looks like. Uh, Eddie, Nancy, and Robin went in the lake after him. So I'm assuming they're going to catch up to him and probably save him from whatever the fuck was biting him. They look like bat I, things. I uh, sure fucking hope they do because I'm not going to be happy if they actually kill off Steve's character. Yeah, so they're not they're now not running from the cops because they just got there and i don't even know if they saw them on the lake but now they don't have to worry about it but now they have to worry about just running into vecna in general wouldn't it be crazy if they ran into the shadow monster down there oh wait no because it was destroyed right i think so like yes and no i don't know how this like the way this shit works in this world you never know no, I feel like it has to be alive because uh, wasn't it just the shit that was left over from Earth, from uh, when they closed the gate that was up on Earth? Yeah, but now we also know that there was another gate. Yeah. Who's to say that part of it didn't escape, you know? Well, that's besides the point here, though. Yeah, my point is, like, uh, it would be crazy for them to run into, like, Demogorgons, Demodogs, Shadow Monster, and Vecna all at the upside down uh mike argyle will and jonathan all went to Susie's. and she hacked the computer for them and now they know where to go and it's in nevada so more driving it was cool seeing argyle get a little love interest they went and got high in the in the van you know hot box action i thought it was funny every time she'd talk and he'd just head over heels so, I wish she'd go with him. That'd be fun. If Susie, like, went you know, with them. You never know. They might. I mean. Yeah, that might be dope. The, the, their dad sucks. So, <laughs> yeah. they might want to just be out of there. 
Dustin is now a fugitive, I guess. <laughs> he was caught by the cops. Max, I know they were there and they turned around when he fell. So I don't know if they're going to just be caught with him or if they're going to take off. <laughs> I think they'll probably go with him. I would, I, I would think so. The most annoying thing is Jason completely convinced the town that this is all devil worship. They're demons. This is a, a cult. And Eddie is now the suspect that they need to look at, which I find bullshit. In my opinion, there's a lot of evidence pointing towards Jason. Right? Well, I mean, he had an alibi for Chrissy's murder. Right, all his teammates. And, and Eddie was already a suspect. The murder of Patrick, I think they said his name was, went basically the exact same way that Chrissy's did. And Ed, um, what did you say his name was? Uh, was that Fred? I don't fucking know. Whatever the, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, no, I'm not talking about him. Oh. I'm talking about uh, the Chrissy's boyfriend. What the fuck's his name oh, again? Jason. Jason. He's basi he basically was the witness to Eddie murdering Patrick. Which is complete bullshit because he literally told them, oh, he was on the boat. And that and then you saw him like questioning, well, you said he was over there, then how did he kill him? So that's annoying. But you could easily point, if you had some damn sense, I think, you could easily point like, hold on, this was your girlfriend. This other guy that, um, but again, he school. couldn't. There's no way that they could argue he could have killed her if he was if he wasn't there. She died in Eddie's trailer. No, I know. While he was at a party. But what I'm saying, well, he was originally going to be a suspect too. But like my point is, like you could also tie him to this too. He was there in front of Eddie, and he even told the cops Eddie didn't touch him. But of course, it's this stupid cult shit that he wants to run and he convinced the whole town and now Mike's parents, Lucas's parents and Dustin's parents are all worried because even though they don't believe, unlike Ted stupid ass, uh, they don't believe they're like part of it, now they have to worry that their kids might be like in danger and like at harm's risk which sucks so I don't know, I think this whole D&D stuff is quite stupid, I thought uh, what's her face? Um, Lucas's sister. I thought she was going to put up more of a fight, but, I mean, her parents told her to shut the fuck up, so. And then we have Eleven. Eleven's just doing her thing. She was, uh, she won that little exercise, and supposedly that kid was, like, holding back and let her win. And it really pissed him off when she used her powers against him. So they all bullied and beat the shit out of her without laying a finger on her and we saw some glimpses of her murdering them which is pretty cool i can't wait to see the actual scene well i mean it doesn't look like she murdered them it looks like she murdered everyone so yeah <laughs> yeah that's pretty messed up people that weren't even involved that's the only criticism i have for 11 killing people but yeah uh do you have anything else uh i feel like we touched on a little bit of everything uh, I really enjoyed the episode. Again, if Steve's dead, I'm going to be really upset. Other than that. Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad for him. Oh, wait. Uh, Hopper. Hopper oh, and... Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, Hopper and Enzo. They uh, were given their final meal, it looked like. But then they Hopper was smart enough to understand that they were talking about a Demogorgon. So he's preparing. He has some alcohol, it looks like, and a, a lighter. And they're going to use some fire up in that bitch. So can't wait for that. I, I hope... It happens like in front of the guards and they realize that like Hopper's a threat and Hop I don't know. It would just be cool to see a whole like fight sequence type, uh, type of thing. And then uh, Murray and Joyce, I guess their plane landed in an area close to that church that apparently belongs to Yuri. So they're going to have Murray play Yuri, Yuri play Murray, and then walk in pretending that he's one of the fugitives right and they're gonna yeah i guess have some ammunition with them some guns uh well murray's definitely gonna be carrying a gun yeah I, I feel like there's way too much like prison guards there for their original plan to just attack yeah i we need to wait and see what exactly the plan is gonna be they did not give too many details all we know is 
that uh, Murray, is, Murray and Yuri are swapping roles. Yeah. Which is good. Yuri doesn't. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is the last of the review. Really good episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. And if you're interested in full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description below. So with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.